How do you create high quality content for YouTube using only stock footage? So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use a tool called Storyblocks to create these types of videos and save a lot of time. So if you don't know what Storyblocks is, it's kind of like a stock footage platform. And it also has a has an inbuilt video editor. And we're going to be talking about that video editor quite a bit in today's video because that's what makes it easy to create the content. So this is the fastest way to create high quality content for YouTube. So before we get started with the video, make sure you guys hit the like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already, and comment down below with any questions that you have. And if you do all four of those things, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course. So every single week, I pick a new winner. For anyone that's uh, liked the video, subscribe to the channel and also comments down below. So let's pick last week's winner for the YouTube Masterclass course. So all I need to do is copy the link to last week's video and go to this website, which will pick a random winner. So I'm going to click on fetch, click on continue, and it's going to find all the comments from that video. And I'm going to pick a winner. And the winner is uh, Mr. Nature Boy 07. So if you're watching this video, you can email me at help at dreamcloudacademy.com. My email uh, will be at the bottom of the description in, in this video. And I'll also uh, leave the name right here in the description below as well. And all you need to do is email me with this account. So I'll know that it's you and I'll give you access to you to the uh, YouTube Masterclass course. So if you want to win just like Mr. Nature Boy did here, all you need to do is hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. So with that said, let's get started with today's video. So this is storyblocks.com and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. So in today's example, we're going to be creating a motivational video using the stock footage and the Storyblocks video editor. So the clip that I'm going to be using is this video by Shia LaBeouf. So this is a video that went viral in late 2015 and it became kind of a meme. It's called Just Do It. And if you guys don't know what this video is, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So all we're going to do is use the audio from this clip and turn it into a motivational video using stock footage. So to, to take the audio from this clip, all you need to do is copy the link to this video and go to this website called ytmp3.cc. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below as well. And just paste in the uh, video URL and click on convert. And it's going to give you a, a download button. So click on download and there's your mp3. Next, go back to Storyblocks and click on Maker. And this will only show up if you actually sign up to Storyblocks. So you have to sign up in order to actually use this. But you can watch this video and see if it's worth it for you. So I'm going to pick a wide video for a YouTube video, but you can also pick square videos and vertical videos as well. So let's click on make a video. Then I'm going to click on upload. And then I'll click on audio and then click on upload media. Then I'll click on my device. And I'll go to download where I just downloaded my uh, audio right here and click on upload file. So that's the audio that we just downloaded. So I'm going to click on that audio or oh, right now it's actually encoding. And so I'm going to click on that audio right here. And I'm going to say add it to audio layer one. So there's the audio. So if I hit play right now, it's going to start playing. So it's there's a little bit of a delay there. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to cut it right here. So this is when he actually starts talking. So I'm going to click uh, clip that off or I, actually I can clip it off right here. Now I click on trim clip. There we go. So I'm going to delete this first layer of this text. So we don't need that. So I'm going to hit delete. So now that we have the audio ready, now it's time to start adding in some stock footage. So I just want to quickly explain why the Storyblocks video editor saves a lot of time. So if you do it the usual way, so let's say you go to a website like pixels.com where you can get free stock footage and you search up a stock footage like, um, let's say, uh, Red Forest. Let's just search that up and you find your stock photo, uh, footage and you click download and then you have to uh, re-upload it to your video editor or import it to your video editor. Then only you can start editing. So that does take up some time. But with the maker, so the Storyblocks maker, you can just simply go in here, click on search, and you can just take it straight from the Storyblocks stock footage search bar. So uh, 
in this case, he says do it, just do it. So what I'm going to search up is just someone being lazy or something like that. So I think this one's this one's pretty good. And I can clip it to exactly where I want. So maybe I can clip it for the next uh, first uh, four seconds there or seven seconds and then click on add clip. And there's the first one. So now I can just... So that's the first clip. So next he says, don't let your dreams be dreams. So I can type in something like dreaming. There we go. I think that this one's pretty good. And I can just maybe clip this one like to about seven seconds as well. Click on add clip. Then I'll. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday you said tomorrow. So just. So I think that's pretty good too. So now all you do is just keep searching up the exact stock footage that relates to the video and just keep adding it, um, adding in more and more stock footage um, until you finish the video right here. So usually I create videos that are at least eight to 20 minutes long and it'll take less than half an hour to do this um, um, throughout the entire eight to 10 minute video. But with the normal way where you have to keep downloading videos and then importing it to your video editor, that will take at least an hour or sometimes even two hours to create these types of videos. So let's say if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of money to invest, then it's okay to spend a lot of time um, using the free method like using uh, pixels.com and your own free video editor. But once you do have some um, money coming in, uh, or you have some money to invest, then you should definitely use Storyblocks Maker and the Storyblocks stock footage because it makes it so much easier. So now uh, we have two stock footage uh, footages here. And what I'm going to do is just quickly speed up this video and just add a bunch of stock footage in there. So I'll finish this video and I'll see you guys in the end. It took me about just just over four minutes to create this clip now and I've just added all the stock footage so it's about the audio is only um, just just under one minute long so uh, it didn't take me that long to just add in all of the uh, stock footage right here so I'll leave a link to this full video in the description below if you want to see the video that I just created but uh, we can actually add more things to this now we can add in some text animations as well so this is all optional you don't have to get this fancy but this does help the video just a little bit so right here where it says add text just click on that and make sure you have the add text layer selected and once you have this selected you should see the textiles open up right here and you should also see add text here come up right here in the middle of the screen so you can click and drag this anywhere you want and you can also change the colors right here so i'm just going to change it to a white color so it's easier to see and all you need to do is just double click on it to change the uh, text so in the first clip he says just do it so i'll just type in just do it there we go and i'll click on done then i'll also give it some animation so click on that layer and I can make it move it move from left to right. Or I can make it zoom in. Do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. So that's pretty good. So I think I like the move down and up. So that's really good. So next what I can do is maybe move it to about here. Just do it. So it's the same thing. So what I could do here is just click on duplicate right here. And it just duplicates the same thing. So I can just move that over. Then maybe here, it's another text. So I'll, wake up and work hard at it. So I'll maybe say work hard right here. So I can click on duplicate again. And just move it right here again. And just type in work hard. Or work hard at it. I'll say that. That's what he actually says in the clip. And I'll click on done. And that's it. Now you just keep adding in as um, the, uh, as uh, many texts as you need. So that's how easy it is to create 
these um, motivational videos or any type of stock footage videos with the story blocks maker it just saves a lot of time and it just um, it just makes it easier to compile all of the clips together to tell a story but there are some cons to this so th those are the pros but there are some cons so you can't add your own background music so i'm not sure story why story blocks still hasn't added that in so you can't just go in here um and just come in here and just click on audio and you can add in one of these uh, audio clips right here so let's say i add this one in right here so i'm just going to say add it to audio la uh, layer 2 so i can add it in there but i can't lower the volume so it it's it, the usually the uh, the background audio is lower than the voiceover so the uh, background audio or the music just sounds a just too loud and you can't really hear what people are saying in the voiceover so that's a disadvantage you just can't edit the uh, audio at all so you have to what you have to do is just delete the just don't add any background music at all and then you just have to click on export the clip click on high definition click on export and it'll just start exporting the clip then what you have to do is upload this into your video editor or import it into your video editor then add in your own uh, voiceover or i mean your uh, own your own background music that's the only con with the uh, story blocks video editor and hopefully they'll add um, a way to edit the background music on the video editor but for now this is we just have to do the background music manually but still this saves up a l way more time you can create like uh, you know if you just work like two hours then you you can create at least four different stock footage videos with the Storyblocks video editor. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to watch this entire video uh, that I just made, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. You can sign up to uh, Storyblocks through my affiliate link. I'll get a commission. That's how I keep all of these videos free to try to help you guys as much as possible. And uh, also make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Comment down below with any comment or question or video request and you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube Masterclass course. So that's it for today's video and I'll see you in the next one.